Hey guys, it's Phil with Gun Owners of America. Now, before we get into this story, I want you to think back 10 years or five years when we talked about something like gun confiscation and why we're opposed to gun control because it inevitably leads to gun confiscation. And everybody said, you guys are crazy. There's no way that's ever gonna happen. Well, maybe we're about to announce the first step in what could one day lead to gun confiscation. So the ATF is about to launch the next stage of its assault on the forced reset triggers that it considers machine guns. According to an internal ATF email obtained exclusively by GOA, the agency has written and distributed instructions for field offices regarding manufacturers, distributors, and retailers who are in possession of rare breeds forced reset trigger and BDU's wide open trigger. Now, previously the ATF issued cease and desist letters to some of the companies who make forced reset triggers. Now it seems the ATF is gearing up to begin seizing these devices from those who possess them. And the ATF just gave their field agents the go ahead to demand the triggers be turned over and if the manufacturers, distributors, or retailers refuse to comply, the agents have permission to seize them anyway. Listen to this. I'm going to read right from the leaked document we got from the ATF. Please be prepared to take possession of any documents and FRTs the manufacturer, distributor, or retailer offers to surrender. They may choose to abandon the items, in which case ask them to complete a forfeiture of property notice. But that's not all. The email refers to those who are found in possession of the trigger as defendants. This email already assumes these people are committing a crime. This email may be about manufacturers, distributors, and retailers, but the implications are clear for the rest of us. The ATF already considers anyone with one of these triggers to be in violation of the 1986 ban on machine guns, known as the Hughes Amendment, and the NFA. And violations of this statute are punishable by up to 10 years in a federal prison and a $250,000 fine. And if you're indicted, later convicted of a felony, your name is going to be added to the NICS database and you'll be prohibited from possessing any of the guns you already own. This is serious stuff. With its new reckless interpretation that forced reset triggers are machine guns, ATF is playing games with your life and the Unconstitutional National Firearms Act. So this is why GOA has always opposed the NFA. It's why GOA opposes the Hughes Amendment. GOA opposed the arbitrary ban imposed on bump stock owners by the ATF. The Second Amendment protects your right to own any gun. It's really about parity with our government. We're disappointed but not surprised to see the ATF preparing to confiscate triggers. We're not aware of even one of these triggers being used in connection with the crime. And for that matter, the Second Amendment protects your right to own these triggers regardless of whether or not it's a machine gun, which it's not. So everybody, I want to know what you think about this and let me know in the comments. What do you want to see from GOA on this one? You know we're opposed and we're going to look into how to fight this thing. But what would you do if you were in our shoes over here in Washington fighting the swamp?